When it comes to storing data, there are three main components in play. The host system, the flash memory controller, and the NAND flash. First, the host system generates data, which is sent to the flash memory controller. The flash memory controller's firmware then tells the data exactly where to go on the NAND flash. The part of the flash memory controller which tells the data where to go is in the firmware. It is called the flash translation layer, or FTL, and takes the logical data and translates it so it can be physically programmed onto the NAND flash. Flash translation layers used to use block-based mapping, and some still do, but the technology has since advanced to page and sub-page based mapping. In block-based mapping, mapping data is written to one page at a time. If at any given point in time one page needs to be updated, that page and the pages before it must be copied and rewritten to another block. This leaves the older pages marked to be deleted. In HiMap, as we call our sub-page based mapping system at Hyperstone, pages are written the same. However, when one page needs to be updated, that individual page is shifted into a new block. This means a lot less erasing and rewriting pages in different blocks. Ultimately, page-based mapping is more granular and makes for faster random write speeds, which improves performance. Furthermore, since there is less rewriting data into the new blocks, the write amplification factor is reduced, which means a longer life expectancy for the flash, as the wear and tear to the individual NAND flash cells is lesser. I hope this video taught you something new. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts, and subscribe.